did the anonymous whistleblower in a July 19, 2021 lawsuit against the Secretary of Health and Human Services document her claim that 45,000 people died within three days of receiving a COVID vaccination? No, that's not true. It's her opinion that a five-fold multiplier of a list of unverified reports is warranted. The Food and AMP Drug Administration FDA, has repeatedly said that informal list of vaccine injury reports cannot be used to precisely tally vaccine effects. Declaring herself an expert in data analytics, the witness says, without providing her statistical model, that it is her opinion the number of deaths, about 9,000, reported to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System VAERS, should be multiplied by 5. To access VAERS data, users must confirm that they understand the data is subject to several statistical limitations. This is because health issues and deaths that, chronologically, occur after vaccination may be caused by underlying illnesses or other factors unrelated to a vaccination, none of which is known until each report is authenticated and each cause of death is investigated. The claim was being cited widely on social media, including in a video published on the 3AM Lowdown BitChute account on July 19, 2021, titled, 45,000 dead from vaccination in three days, lawyer Thomas Renz sues federal government, July 18, 2021, which opened, quote, Please like, share, subscribe and click the, icon for news updates of the strange, UFOs, weird and paranormal. Opinions, comments and amp. Your possible explanation are always welcome. Please be respectful of others' opinions. Thank you. Buy me. End quote. Users on social media only saw this title, description and thumbnail. Quote. 45,000 dead from vaccination in three days. Lawyer Thomas Wren sues federal government, July 18, 2021. Please like, share, subscribe and click the, icon for news updates of the strange, UFOs, weird and paranormal. Opinions, comments and amp. Your possible explanation are always welcome. Please be respectful of others' opinions. Thank you. Buy me. End quote. The lawsuit by America's Frontline Doctors, an organization of anti-vaccine activists, describes the anonymous witness as follows. Quote. Plaintiff's expert Jane Doe 45 is a computer programmer with subject matter expertise in the healthcare data analytics field. In her expert opinion, VAERS under-reports deaths caused by the vaccines by a conservative factor of at least five. End quote. A copy of the witness statement, found online in PDF form, explains her opinion as follows. Quote. I am a computer programmer with subject matter expertise in the healthcare data analytics field. I earned a BS degree in mathematics. It is my professional estimate that VAERS, the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, database, while extremely useful, is underreported by a conservative factor of at least five. This would indicate the true number of vaccine-related deaths was at least 45,000. End quote. The witness does not provide her analytical model and there are not 45,000 COVID vaccine death reports in the government vaccine safety system. She does not explain how or if she has adjusted for the multiple limitations on the accuracy and authenticity of VAERS data. And, she does not warn the court about the limitations the VAERS operators emphasize, which is that VAERS' mission is to collect a wide open, likely repetitive, messy and incomplete list of anyone's anecdotal, amateur, professional and even malicious reports of post-vaccination problems. The VAERS site repeatedly notes the list cannot be used to determine causation of deaths or injuries. Even her starting point number of 9,000 is only a tally of reports of people who got vaccinated against COVID and later died, regardless of what their health condition was or what they died of. But in the video repeating the claim, attorney Thomas Wren says, at the 250 mark, quote, We know, based on what she has said, that there have been at least 45,000 deaths from this vaccine. End quote. Neither Renz nor his witness make it clear the VAERS list is not a precision instrument of measure. It is a warning system. Monitoring it, the FDA and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention hope to spot patterns in the reports, which can be added to the list by anyone with an internet connection. A pattern is not itself evidence, since the reports that make up a pattern have to be checked for authenticity. For instance, 
A March report to VAERS by a 59-year-old Michigan man mocked VAERS misusers by reporting marital strife as an adverse event, writing, quote, to demonstrate my point I am filling a report and the adverse event and outcome of receiving the COVID vaccine was an extremely angry wife who thinks the vaccine is going to a kill me and b cause me to spread COVID and c may result in divorce. 